Hey guys, Angry Joe, and I'm here with Ed Boon, the creator of Mortal Kombat for Mortal Kombat 11. This is a pretty huge event. You guys are at this reveal event, announcing it. Awesome trailer. Yeah. Uh, what's it like doing this kind of big event for MK? Uh, it's it's overwhelming. You know, when we we did the stage thing, like the energy that came out of that crowd, I was not that. It literally threw me off guard. I, yeah. I and I was kind of like <laughs> had to kind of recalibrate and like, okay, what are we here for? It was it was they kept it was crazy. Up, I was like, Sit out, I yeah. can't see. Yeah, them. yeah. They were idling at a ten, and then everyone when a big thing would happen. They go to a 12 and then they go back to a 10. It was really crazy. So brand new Mortal Kombat really, really soon. I'm happy to see it. What kind of new mechanics are we seeing? How is Mortal Kombat 10 evolving in Mortal Kombat 11? Um, well, you know, we we always want to switch things up. Every single game we do, we don't, we don't want anybody to say, oh, that's just a prettier version of the last game, you know? And so we, we, we're doing a pretty radical change to like, the resources that the player uses. You know, they always have this meter that they can use to either save them all up and do the big super move, or use it to enhance an offensive move, enhance a defensive move. And we've separated all three of those components. We said okay. offensive is, has its own meter, defense has its own meter, and super moves are tied to the player's health. So when you get down to 30%, super moves comes up, the dynamic of the fight, the tension of the fight just Ranks way up there. So that's the X-rays, or kind of have changed yeah. into final blows. Exactly, the exactly. It's okay. the big, the big. You know, what was X-ray in, in in Mortal Kombat? What was the super moves and in, Injustice? And um, is now there's fatal blows and Mortal Kombat. There's essentially second fatalities because you see well, how the characters are dying. Yeah, 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 yeah. The eyeball yeah. going through the head. Yeah. How are they still fighting? Yeah, yeah. you guys just said, well, I'm actually surprised more people don't call us out on that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like it's like. Oh, I, I think everybody enjoys. Yeah, it. Yeah. They're like, yeah, yeah. that's whatever. Keep yeah. fighting. Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right, so those offensive and defensive moves. Does that mean like I'm limited? Like I can no longer fire my ice ball if I've already used up my two offensive moves? Or are those offensive move enhancements like an EX meter. Exactly the second one. Okay. Yeah, and, and and those meters are constantly building too. So when you use, you know, let's say you use a couple of them up, you know, after a while they're gonna it's just gonna recharge up like that. And so you're 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 managing three variables as opposed to one big variable that has to apply to everybody. So, it's so, so loud. Yeah, yeah, it's loud. <laughs> they're, they're showing off the gameplay over there. Yeah. Uh, didn't mean to interrupt you, but uh, no, awesome. the story mode. Yeah. This is what I love about you guys, your company, and Mortal Kombat in general, that you have fleshed out the lore. Yeah. You get, it's almost like watching three movies in one, yeah. like the Lord yeah. of the Rings trilogy. So um, how are you guys evolving the story? Is this directly after Mortal Kombat 10? And, and how are how do the characters progress? It is. Um, how do you explain this? Time stuff. Yeah, We've yeah. Never yeah, heard yeah, any. Yeah. Of, oh, oh, let's just yeah. do time travel. So you know, the, like time cop. The, <laughs> yeah. Van Dam. Are you Van Damming Mortal yeah. Kombat? No, no, no. We're we're kind of back to the future in Mortal okay. Kombat. You know. <laughs> so so what we're doing is we're introducing a new character, Kronika. She is like the boss of all bosses. All the events from the first Mortal Kombat, all the way to Mortal Kombat 10, have been of her doing. What? Uh, yeah, what yeah. So she's yeah. <laughs> Look, you want your answer or not? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so she's been behind. So it. she's been behind the whole thing. Everything was working as to plan, except for when Raiden screwed it up okay. and killed uh, or cut Chinook's head off. Right. You know? So and so basically, she's and so she's pissed, and now she's just kind of inserting herself in the situation. She's going to take all the events, all the the characters from the old games, fold them in, and so all of a sudden you see characters like you know Liu Kang meeting his. Revenant self, oh. Kung, younger Kung Lao meeting, you know, all of these characters see them in their classic costumes interacting and stuff. and stuff like that. It's so cool, you know, just to see these characters. Do we take control of the classics? Like, how yeah. do you do that? Because overall in Mortal Kombat story modes, you've uh, seen the story from different perspectives, yeah. jumped into different bodies. How, how is that going in Well, this it's, one? it's all over the place. Like, you know, sometimes you're playing as a younger version of a character, and then later you're playing as the older version of the character. Sometimes you're playing the character against. You the younger versus things. older stuff. Yeah, it's really cool. And like, you know, there's a lot of like cool kind of novelty with um, similar to, you know, like I always keep saying Back to the Future, but it's just really cool to see like, you know, um, time just kind of folded on itself right. and 
characters would interact. And this like is that. a lengthy story mode, just like a previous yeah, game. It's, our, it's okay, our biggest perfect. one. Yeah, it's our biggest now, one. Now, one, another thing you guys do really, really well is the additional stuff. In addition to the fighting, in addition yeah. to the challenge towers, in addition to all this other, yeah. um, you know, meta game. You have like like a crypt with these different yeah. modes. Yeah. Uh, are we seeing cart combat no. and something coming back, <laughs> yeah, uh, no. or a crypt of some kind? Yeah, yeah. There, there is going to be crypt, okay. and it's and it's our best one. You know, okay, really I, I, sweet. I wish I wish I can I, we can get a little bit more. Probably later we'll talk more detail of it. But there is a crypt. Um, we're not going to have um, uh, cart combat or anything oh, like that. It's <laughs> a puzzle chess <laughs> combat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You guys uh, go crazy with yeah. that sometimes. Uh, but but yeah yeah we we put you know we put so much resources into the story mode and yeah. into the, um, the 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 towers of time which is really cool it's kind of like a combination of the the, the multiverse from injustice and the living towers from mortal kombat x and uh you know we've just beefed them up huge amounts and uh so the whole the whole this game is so full of secrets it's just like a, it's a big part of what we're speaking of injustice i'm noticing a little bit of influence uh from the sort of modular gear system that yeah. we saw in injustice yeah. Yeah. it is so cool that i can like pick and choose the different pieces i want but yeah. that, so it's yeah. almost like i'm creating a character that's one of the other modes i really like to yeah. create a character yeah. so you get a little bit of that light stuff will that affect their stats or or not how does it work is it like injustice um it's not like injustice in the sense of you know you have a whole new head and you're you're changing their entire parts of the body um there's three parts of every fighter like scorpion is his mask his sword and his spear tip those things players love the skins like old version of scorpion yeah, yeah. or you know that's uh, UMK uh, oh, yeah exactly that's what I'm and sure. that didn't work in Injustice, you couldn't, we couldn't do skins like that because the gear pieces would interfere with oh, okay. it. So we just have those those gear pieces that swap, but they work for all the costumes. So, so it's a mixture of the two systems. Exactly, okay. exactly. So it's a mixture of the two systems. The amount of costumes we're going to have in this game is way more. So there's going to be way more variety and so a, a ton of stuff like that. And the gear, the, the, the visual of the gear doesn't come with a gameplay component. The player puts the gameplay components in it because we don't want people thinking like, you know, oh, I can get this gear piece and it does this. It looks cool, but I don't, I don't like what it does. So it's a lot more, you know, player customization is the big part. Now, I noticed when I was switching between, I saw Boone's main and I yeah, saw like yeah, little yeah. funny names like yeah. uh, Sub-Zero AF, yeah, you yeah. know, <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, um, yeah. Is that... How does that work? Is is yeah. that actually your main? Is that something you created yeah. and you put on the internet and we can then use it? Yeah. Um, in in Mortal Kombat X, we had three versions of like every character, and they were they had names, you know, Hellfire Scorpion or something like that. And uh, so when we put something like Boone's main, that was basically our way of saying, you know, this was created by a person. This was it isn't the default one that's in the game, you know, because the game is going to come with like three default versions okay. and that's going to be used for tournaments and all that stuff where this kind of level playing field balanced and right. all that stuff there like that go. but then when you create yours you can call it you know angry joe scorpion right, or right. boone's main or something like that badass, yeah know, exactly yeah. And so you can give it a name but that's your version and that's why we called some of them those okay things. and and can other people then then create those or download those or you just tell them your builds and then they build it and that kind yeah of stuff? yeah yeah we, we're not going to have a thing where you can like share it that would be a cool feature yeah, yeah. Uh, Mortal Kombat 12, and then, <laughs> and then we get a uh, but but mainly it's making your version and you know kind of uh, making what about, it look how you uh, want it. you know tag team. Last time I talked to you, I was like, I really like tag team, and yeah. you're like, nobody played. The percentage was low. Yeah, is, yeah. is tag team making return or? Uh, well, nobody played it. The percentage was low. So. <laughs> Just because it's low, Ed, doesn't yeah. mean no, it's, it's, it it's, could blow up again. Yeah, you know exactly. What I'm it's, it's a cool thing, you know. It's at, at, with every Mortal Kombat game, it's just kind of like we only have so much time, so many people. At some point, we got to say, let's do this and let's drop that and let's do this. So like that. Okay. So, yeah. Well, I got some questions uh, from the fans. You know what? I am Angry Joe. I got to yeah. do my job, so I got to ask you something. Stay pissed off. I was watching, uh, you know. Some of the challenge towers have like one time use consumables. I was seeing like 99 time consumables and stuff because they unlocked it for us. And then also, you know, the different gear pieces and the skins, like maybe I thought I saw something mythic or that could have just been tied to what it was called. But I, I was getting a little bit of worried of the microtransactions. Now, yeah. you guys did a great job in, in MKX. Initially, I got confused at first, but I, I thought the system was well done. Yeah. 
Am I gonna have to get angry? Is there gonna be microtransactions, no, no. mobile game type of stuff? Yeah, I, 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 I guess. Um, and I don't know if it what was it Injustice or, or yeah, MKX that Justice you got that you got it wrong. I got and it wrong. Yeah, I had to fix it. I was pissed off for like a week I'm, about it. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, just um, um, that was an angry. We can't, we can't, we can't get into like the, the specific details of it, but. You won't be angry at it. Okay. I can I can tell you that. Okay. You know, as, right. as far as that. So yeah. real quick, there's some questions that we got. Are we gonna see Johnny Cage? I can't remember. Some different characters, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't blame you for asking, but we, you know, we, we, we got a whole cadence of reveals. And okay, stuff like obviously, that. I can't yeah. ask yeah. about you know characters like Spawn. People want to see Spawn. Do they? Uh, yeah, of course. People Spawn. Um, Crossplay, anything like that? Oh, between, uh, not that we have planned. I mean, that would be cool. I mean, I think that's that's certainly like a, a direction that, that, okay, that things I'm, are going. Like I'm being waved off now, so I got to go. And thank you so much for taking the time to speak Always with us. Always good to see you. Man. I appreciate yeah, it, yeah. man. And a lot of great Mortal Kombat to come on my channel. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11 comes yeah. out when and for what systems? Uh, April 23rd and for... PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, PC. The year of Mortal Kombat is back, baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. Fatality.